we've just been hissed at. He was sat here, not happy, was he, Reggie? That we've disturbed his breakfast. Oh, I missed that shot. And also, there is a cormorant sat up in that tree. Just had his wings wide open and uh, been giving us quite a display. Water's not too deep today and I'm pleased to report the boots are holding up. Go on then Reg, get in, get in chance. So we're here in the brewery looking at yesterday's project and all I need to do is put a couple of panels on the side of that and put it away. But in true Harry Bruce style, I started another project already. Follow me. So I thought, well, we could do with a bit of an organisation and figure out where stuff's going to live, particularly on a permanent basis for things such as the new ring rollers. And then I thought, well, if I tidy up, up here a bit, we'll be able to get some stuff moved and relocated, which allows us to move stuff in there and relocate it, which allows us to move stuff downstairs and relocate it. And yeah, all in all, I made the decision to finally go out and get a carpet for the office floor. We've not had a carpet in the office. Look at that. Plasterboard's terrible. because it's so wet up here. You see the floor, uh, the ceiling? Anyway, we're not looking at that. We don't care. We can overboard that another day. What we are looking at is pulling what's left. Gemma's cleaned most of this out while I've been to fetch the carpet. Pulling most of this furniture out and putting a rug down, baby. Oh, and look at this. Why is this here? This little kickstand. Because... And there, there's a tie rod. So that tie rod runs from one side of the building all the way through to the next. And it's on this big spreader plate here. And that bad boy is stopping the brickwork fall down because they did a terrible job on putting the steel in to support this side of the building. And uh, you should not be looking good, but it's good enough. And it's not going to fall down today. So we don't have to worry about that. So all I need to do is remove this stuff. This TV we put on the wall for the kids when we first moved in here. And I had absolutely no money. And the children were quite young. And what I had to do was bring them to work with me while I was building the brewery. You'll probably remember. So I'd been downstairs in the freezing cold in 2017. And the kids would be up here. Uh, oh, both very young, freezing their knackers off, I suppose you'd like, you might, you might say. And, uh, well, actually, this is the reason why this room had this stuff in, and that's why I put that ceiling up. Because above that ceiling, there is an 8 inch layer of insulation, so we could heat this room and the kids could stay cosy. I had a couple of sofas up here. And they could lay it. <laughs> it's not much of a screen, is it? But at least they had something to watch. Bless them. They helped. They all did their bit, you know. Well, I'm going to get rid of this. It's had its day. I've got a CD player in the side as well, DVD. And then pull this lot out, and we'll have a reorganisation of where things are going to live. Well, it's only taken me five years to do it. We finally got a carpet down. I do feel like I have to publicly apologise to Gemma for the way I've spoken to her throughout the whole process. But she's a big girl, she'll get over it. I'll have to, <laughs> I'll have to, I don't know, treat you to a bag of chips. So what we need to do now is figure out how we're going to rearrange the filing cabinets. I've got rid of one. And I also need to put some more 
um, power sockets. That side where the desk is. I'll probably redo this at some point in the future and put all this cable in trunking. But the trouble is, the walls are awful. I don't know if you can see. They're like stippled. So at some point, I'd like to, I don't know, maybe dot and dab it, get it turned into a proper office space. But for now, this will have to do.